am somebody who's obsessed with deep diving about things that my commenters are passionate about. And y'all have showed me the coolest Warhammer animations I've, like, these are just, like, sick cinematics. And now we're checking out lore. This video is called Every Single Warhammer 40k Faction Explained by Bricky. Now, the link to the original video will be in the description below. Please support the original channel, but also support me while you're here, okay? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. And uh, we're going to get this thing shaking. Also, on Twitch, I'm live every single day. Come hang out. Come tune in. Join us. Uh, and also join the Discord for updates on content and when I go live. Let's get it. Necessarily serve the Omnissiah, but someone who can appreciate them. You will not be getting my legs today, as I will be replacing them with various things depending on which faction we are currently talking about. <laughs> All right, is this the Goth Girl faction? Because if so, that I'm in, bitch. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> to add a little bit more context and possible comedy to whatever the hell. Never mind, I'm the anime waifu thighs! I'm the anime waifu thigh list! That's me! Wait! Wait! That's me! I'm the anime waifu thigh list! Oh my goodness! I was born for this. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Yeah, I got a thigh gap. What's up? <laughs> How I am currently doing. So, hello everybody. My There's a desync with the audio again? No! Not when we start a bricky video. Oh, homies. Okay, the good old close and reopen, dog. That's what we're going to hit right now. The good old close. And As someone who doesn't necessarily Are serve... We synced? The Omnissiah, but someone who can appreciate them. Are we synced? You will not be getting my legs today, as I will be replacing them with various things depending on which faction we are Yo, currently talking about. Okay, yep, good old fashioned close and reopen, baby. We're good. All right. <laughs> talking about to add a little bit more context and possible comedy to whatever the hell I am currently doing. So, hello everybody. My name is Bricky. Hi, Bricky. And this is going to be a long video and a large project that has been going on for quite some time. This is, I need two hands for this. This is every single Warhammer 40K race. Okay. In kind of a nutshell, explained, a little bit of explanation, a little bit of lore, a little bit of talking about the tabletop, but mostly lore, what they're all about. Okay. And also a little bit of background for those of you who just have no clue what Warhammer 40,000 is. <laughs> now you see Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000 is- He's committing to the legs bit. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't expect him to actually commit to the legs, but he really did. <laughs> the universe people hear plenty of, but don't know a whole lot about. They see, oh, there's these dudes in big power armor with chainsaw swords, and they got these big old green orcs, and there's some bugs over there, and everyone calls these guys weebs, and then there's <laughs> these spiky bitches over here, and I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Where do I start? Yeah, you fucking weebs! <laughs> this video is particularly for you, or for those of you who have a little bit of knowledge, but you're kind of curious about each of the different races and factions mm -mm. in Warhammer. So, overall, the Warhammer universe is vast when it comes to lore and background, and each different faction is so different with the things that they believe in. And some are human, oh. some are transhuman, like where they all have all these crazy ass electronics on them you've got aliens and you've got the chaos factions and there's so much to entail that i decided to embark on this project okay. to tell you what each and every single one of them is about and what the warhammer universe is about as well to give at least a little bit of an intro to this extremely bloated but very very enjoyable world that i and many others partake. honestly one thing i really love before we even jumps into the lore it's just how passionate and excited he is to jump into it. Whenever I watch something and the person themselves are super passionate, I feel so much more engaged, even if I have no concept of, like, what they're going to talk about. Like, the moment you see someone else have that much interest, it's like you want to care about it too, which is dope. So, I will be explaining every single faction in the Blood Warhammer Angels. That sounds universe. hardcore. I want to be that. At least all the factions you can play as and some smaller factions here and there. 
I will not be discussing absolutely everything in it because that is a little bit much, and I'm not going to go too mega deep into the lore. Okay. I'm going to give you a pretty solid overview of each of the different factions yeah. and have you learn a little bit about them, okay. and we'll discuss a little bit of the tabletop as well cool. in case you are curious about that. But for this episode entirely, we uh, are just- Someone painted me as a, a tabletop uh, for Warhammer uh, in the Discord. Sorry, I'm saying a lot because I'm trying to think of where they did it. <laughs> I think they posted it on my subreddit, Alicia X, or slash Alicia X Life, and they also posted it in the Discord, so. Discussing the Imperium of Man, because that takes up a fat chunk of Warhammer lore. Oh, boo-hoo! What is Warhammer 40,000? Yeah. Well, the 40,000 starts off is the year 40,000. That makes 41st sense. The 41st millennium, that's okay. where it takes place, is in the year 40,000, 41,000 AD. Yep. You're already more knowledgeable. Let me Yay! read you a quote, first of many quotes in this video. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred years, the emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of earth. He is the master of mankind by the will of the gods and master of a million worlds by the might of his inexhaustible armies. He is a rotting carcass, writhing invisibly with power from the dark age of technology. He is the carrion lord of the Imperium for whom a thousand souls are sacrificed every day so that he may never truly die. To be a so we don't fuck with the emperor for real, right? Because that sounds <laughs> this motherfucker sound like a dictator. <laughs> this is <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. Chat instantly said for the emperor. Wait, do we like it? Oh, actually, <laughs> bless me. Actually, bless me. I got. <laughs> I'll put my hand sanitizer on. Hold up. Ugh. All right. We're good. <laughs> A man in such times is to be amongst untold billions. It is to live in the cruelest and most bloody regime imaginable. These are the tales of those times. Forget the power of technology and science, mm. for so much has been forgotten, never to be relearned. Forget Damn. the promise of progress and understanding, for in the grim, dark future, there is only war. There is no peace amongst the stars, only an eternity of carnage and slaughter and the laughter of thirsting gods. Everything- That sounds hard as fuck. Dude, change me from being a magical elf girl to a god. That's what I want to be. I want to be the rat god. This is me now. Yes. Claim your souls. Bury them deep. For I must claim a thousand. And my caucus ways. It was like I said caucus. I meant to say carcass, but the accent kind of fucked it up. I... <laughs> Oh, 40k has elves? Oh. <laughs> Thing blows. Skaven? I guess we're gonna probably learn and about Skaven in this. I have no idea what this. hard. Warhammer is probably the most dark and depressing universes ever in I'll fiction. i my life. <laughs> or at least, like, like, top three. Everything is so absurdly horrible, mm -hmm. destructive, or overpowered okay. that it all kind of ends up canceling itself out. It's like Dota. War rages across the galaxy. Interstellar travel is only possible due to sacrificing a thousand souls a day to a rotting carcass of a man who you believe to be your god. Demonic gods and just demons tear open the fabric of reality on a whim. Other Xenos or even other humans okay. end up killing each other in untold billions across the galaxy. It is a time of unending war, slaughter, and a bloodbath amongst everybody. That's... Planets are Holy deemed shit. unrecoverable and are completely destroyed on a whim. Everything sucks. But that's <laughs> Oh like man, we saw that. We saw that like red planet explosion thing in one of my last reactions. In like the Horus Heresy one. Yeah, I was like, whoa, that looks really cool. There's like a whole planet like that's like a scalding red. Charm of it. 
Holy See, everything shit, in Warhammer is planet. evil. But being evil is kind of fun. Like, humanity, in its own right, is a xenophobic, prejudiced, and religious zealot group that kill each other just as much as they kill all of their enemies. Oh. But, and they're like yeah, it's mid, mid to high tier evil on the evil scale of Warhammer. Nobody is good. No matter who you are, everyone is some flavor, some color of evil. Whoever you true pick, to real life you in are general. going to be the bad guy. But that's the fun of it. Because being the bad guy is badass. Villains are cool. They look cool. Sure. They got cool outfits. They got cool weapons. They got cool armies. Villains are cool, man. Yeah. And when everyone is a villain, everyone is pretty cool. That's that, what makes this so charming. And it's also just like super fucking real to it, you know? Like a, a lot of the time, your perception of what good is is whatever side you're on. Like that's the reality is everyone fucking sucks. But if you're on your side type of thing, you perceive yourself as being good and the others as being the evil. Right? Which is the coolest part about war in general, is the perspective of it all. Is that everyone can be the bad guy. So let's start off talking about the main bad guy, quote unquote, the Imperium of Man. His hair, whack. His gear, whack. The Imperium <laughs> of Man is the main empire mm -hmm. of the human race. All of humanity is under this one flag called the Imperium. And about 10,000 years ago, there was a man. He was the emperor, the emperor of mankind, a 10 foot tall psychic demigod who led humanity across the stars to colonize tons and tons of worlds, create superhuman soldiers, yeah. and really bring humanity into a new age. This man, the emperor of mankind, was a psyker. And a psyker is like a magician of sorts. In the world of 40K, there is the warp, the immaterium, kind of like hell, but sort of like a purgatory dimension okay. of hell. Okay. And a psyker is someone who can take that power and manifest it through their mind to use it to do stuff. Like witchcraft oh. stuff, magician stuff, spells, and lots of other That's things, cool. but we don't want to get too into that. The emperor, big boy psyker. Top tier, A plus, maybe even S. Now the emperor created a bunch of sons. Yes, created a bunch of sons known as the Primarchs. He created 20, 18, 18 Primarchs to have them lead all of the different legions of humanity to the different stars and plans to help colonize and bring it out. These Primarchs are basically like little versions of the Emperor. Oh. Not all of them are psychers, but a lot of them are very, very powerful, and they lead his special Space Marine legions. That's cool. Then this big clusterfuck happened called the Horus Heresy, where the Emperor's favorite son- That's the cinematic I watched! Was That was the name of it. The Primarch, Horus, ended up joining Chaos and leading nine other, well, I guess eight, nine- Oh, so that's that dude for real! The one with the four skulls near his cock. Okay. Nine of the 18, half, half, of his Primarchs directly to Earth to fight down the Emperor himself. Now, if you mm -hmm. want to know what Chaos is, remember what I mentioned earlier? The warp, that immaterium, the hellish place? Yep. In there relies the four Chaos Gods. Imagine like Satan and three other Satans. The warp be- <gasps> That one chick was a baddie. She looked kind of like a mermaid. Look at her curvy ass figure. <laughs> That's my god. <laughs> The god I can simp for. That's it. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> I found my god. <laughs> yup. I... Chaos gods. Imagine like Satan Slain. and three other Satans. Slainish? The warp being kind of evil, those chaos gods, that's the reason. And so those chaos gods manipulated Horus, and then Horus helped manipulate all eight other Primarchs to lead this giant coup directly on the Emperor on Earth. And mm -hmm. they fucked up shit. After this huge civil war, Horus died, but not before brutally wounding the Emperor. And right Ooh. at the end of his life, they put the Emperor on this large golden Oh, and golden that's why the Emperor is like, oh, like basically like dead as shit. And they sacrifice the thousand souls to him and everything. Oh, that's so cool. I love when things go full circle. I like that they introduced this first and then they presented the information leading to it. So that way I can follow along well. Cool. Cool. I, yeah, I guess technically dead. I guess that would make sense. They did call him a carcass earlier. <laughs> Grown on Earth, in which he is now alive, just barely, but oh, slowly just barely. Never running mind. away, powering something called the Astronomicon, so long as he stays alive and is fed a thousand people 
a day. The Astronomicon is like the North Star. Okay. If you want to do interstellar travel in 40k, you need to pass through that demonic warp I mentioned earlier. But how do you know where you're going? Well, the Emperor is there putting a nice little navigator right there. He helps navigate you to know where you're going. If you want to go from Earth to some crazy solar system across the way, what happens if you betray, if you secretly are trying to betray the Emperor and he finds out and then you try to warp? Couldn't he just fuck you over? <laughs> That's a horrifying. You need to go through that warp and then you need to know where you're going. Go through there and pop your way out. It's like uh, doing nether travel in, in Minecraft so you can shorten the distance between <laughs> going to areas. So long as the Emperor is alive and being fed a thousand people a day to stay alive, you can do that. The moment he dies, interstellar travel's gone for all of humanity. Oh. You're so boned. Now, since the Horus Heresy 10,000 years ago, All right, the Imperium YouTube, you know what time it is. It's time for me to say, every time you hit the like button, it's one more soul for the Emperor. Beep, 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 beep. That's right, we need to collect over a thousand souls. Quickly, hit the like button. <laughs> ...has fallen from grace substantially. All technology has started to dwindle and die. There is now giant fundamental religious extremists that now believe the Emperor of Mankind uh -huh. was a deity, a true living god, which is probably the last thing the Emperor would have wanted to be remembered for. So now you have this thing called the Ecclesiarchy, mm. which is this giant church entirely devoted to spreading the good word of the Emperor. He is now the Holy Emperor God, the God Emperor, of mankind and mm. all of the Imperium has taken up worshiping him to the fullest extent and killing anything that isn't humanity in his name. The Imperium has this futuristic gothic tone to it and a hefty religious zealotry to them. If you think anything against the Emperor, that's heresy and you deserve to die. That is called- Oh, that's why y'all were spamming heresy in the chat when I talk shit about the Emperor. Oh, I'm concerned. Don't kill me. I <laughs> Only what I accept killing me is that hot uh, devil-ass mommy. <laughs> the god, one of the four gods, the one that was uh, slain, slainish? Yeah, her? She's the only one who has permission, I right? Everybody else? No. <laughs> Being a heretic. Heretics die in 40k. There is no such thing as freedom of religion. There is no such thing as freedom of speech. So long as you are against the emperor. There All is no elves such thing are as hers anyways? I knew who my goddess was instantly. I did not need the lore. I knew. Once I laid eyes upon my goddess, I knew she was the one for me. Yes. Is any kind of tolerance? Everyone is a religious zealot. Some more than others, oh. but no matter what, you preach in that good word. So right now, <laughs> Hold on. he everyone... wrote down on that part, especially this guy. Who's this guy? Somebody? Oh fuck! My microphone fell off its stand. Can I just like hold it? Can I just fuck? <laughs> the whole stand fell off the table. Okay. Um. Can I just be like an old school? podcaster and just like hold the microphone i'm gonna just hold the microphone in my hand okay hold on hold on we gotta screw it off the microphone stand hold on i will i'm too interested in this video to stop the stream or some shit okay i'm too i'm too in the sauce baby okay this is i will make this work <laughs> yeah it hit my fucking arm dude it's just heavy as a bitch too god damn all right hold on i'm still still unscrewing it All right, I'm holding the microphone. I'm gonna sound so crystal clear now. <laughs> Hello. I could do ASMR. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so who's this motherfucker? Van Dyer. Knocked, he knocked out, yeah, he's a bitch. He knocked out my mic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is gonna be weirdly good audio quality. <laughs> but no matter what, 
you're preaching that good word. So right now, mm -hmm. everyone in humanity is trying to expand their empire across the stars. If yeah. you are a heretic, someone who doesn't believe in the emperor, you are deserving of death. If you believe in the chaos gods, you are also a heretic and you deserve death. I... If you are an alien race of any kind, you are a filthy Xenos and you deserve death as well. <laughs> so long as the murder continues and humanity expands, the Imperium of Man is very, very happy. Okay, but like, can we be real for two seconds? What if we wiped out the humans? <laughs> And the emperor just dies out, so there's no more souls for him per day. <laughs> what if we all band together and fuck over the humans? <laughs> I know I know we all have differences, but humanity can eat shit and die. <laughs> Listen, I've seen space marines, dog. I could take them. They fat as th they, they fat and thick as hell. <laughs> I Bulky ass armor. What they gonna do? Turn around real fast? <laughs> What's the animals where if you go behind them, they can't like hurt you? <laughs> Is it kangaroos? What's the one where you have to go behind them? <laughs> you know. <laughs> However, the largest fighting force of this Imperium is my personal favorite faction and the first faction we will discuss the mm -hmm. astra militarum or also known as the imperial guard shit now, man. hi imperial shit guard now, man. you got cool Get ass scars i like the that imperial shit. guard is right, the main remind me of dragon force of the Tekken. imperium and in a world of horrifying creatures mm -hmm. galactic monstrosities mm -hmm. the literal demons themselves breaking through the fabric of time to kill you the imperial guard are untold billions of regular men and women wearing <laughs> modern day, like flak armor with a laser rifle. This is- Oh, honey, sweetie baby. You are a hundred percent one of the thousand people who are gonna die. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are a hundred percent one of the thousand people who are gonna die for the emperor. But do you know what? At least you do it for the like, cause. Literally fodder. This is insane. <laughs> like they might take a few people out as a collective, but that is so depressing. <laughs> oh God! It's the humble las gun, the main uh -huh. weapon of the Imperial Guard. Uh -huh. It fires superheated plasma lasers at an extremely fast fire rate. It is reliable, never jams. It can blow off limbs, giant holes in concrete. It is overall an extremely devastating weapon in modern day. It is one of the weakest in the 40k universe yeah, yeah. A, a laser rifle that never jams it could blow off limbs one of the weakest weapons yeah I that's so. the world we're in right now yeah. but <laughs> who cares because the imperial guard has in each battle 500,000 of these that's what I was, women that was my whole point was that like if you just like i was like listen if a bunch of them are together they can probably take some people out right so that makes perfect sense where also, it's adorable that the legs actually match him super well here. It's actually so cute. Um, but yeah, like, so I guess it could be like effective to an extent, but they are cannon fodder at the end of the day, right? Like, come on, dude. You take you take one sexy ass demon ass motherfucker, all right? He's taking out five people easy peasy. He might lose a limb or two, but he's taking out at least five motherfuckers and still fighting, right? 30,000 large armored tanks, 10,000 artillery batteries. The Imperial Guard wins through sheer numbers and firepower. Okay. They kind of have this World War I, World War II style aesthetic with legions of guardsmen as well as high company commanders and generals on the field along with them and multiple mm -hmm. kinds of troops. A normal Imperial Guard battle starts off with artillery long lines of artillery <laughs> my homie said artillery <laughs> like he got he went so into that mic it hit that was wild <laughs> you felt that in his microphone too he said artillery with a hard t i <laughs> cracking the crust of the planet underneath the enemy's feet oh! and as this barrage <gasps> continues Ooh! hundreds of thousands of guardsmen see a sea 
of guardsmen surges forward, firing and charging at everything possible while the planet rumbles as tanks roll up behind them. Gunships cool. <laughs> block out the sun and tanks block out the dirt with the steps and hoof prints of millions of guardsmen. It is through numbers and sheer sundering firepower. They are the first wow. and last line of defense for the Imperium and make up a huge bulk of the battles. The Imperial Guard is also made up of tons of different kinds of regiments. The Katachin jungle fighters <laughs> live in a death world that's more hospitable than almost any firefight they'll ever get into. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. These dudes? These dudes are from pornos. <laughs> okay. Look at their abs and their well-designed V-line going towards their dick, okay? This is for you motherfuckers who want to be bottoms. <laughs> That's what this is purely for. <laughs> so they just the have Rambo this steroid-looking, <laughs> giant Rambo knife, planet. Rambo predator-looking <laughs> sons of bitches, where nothing is anywhere near as scary as a simple knight on their home planet. You have the Valhallen winter soldiers who haven't felt their toes in 300 years, the oh. Mordian Iron Guard, who are more interested in making their shoes shine than actually fighting a battle. And <laughs> Damn, this smells like a roasted the shit of them, eh? <laughs> and then, of course, the big one, the Cadians from Cadia. <coughs> the biggest export of guardsmen okay. in the entirety of the Imperium. You will fire your first gun at 5. You will disassemble and reassemble it at 10. You will have pounding artillery drills day in and day out at 50. Is it fucked up to say this is just Russia? <laughs> Every Russian character in any video game is this, right? <laughs> like, bro, look at Sergei Dragunov from Tekken. <laughs> Come on, you've all played video games with generic ass shit like this. Come on, <laughs> don't play those games. <laughs> this interpretation happens so often with this aesthetic too. With the same style of scarring and all that crap, too. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> oh, man. 15, and you'll fight your first Swarm Lord at 16. And if you mention Kadia, you will burst into an unrelenting amount of tears and sadness like I do daily. To quote, Aww. I have at my command an entire battle group of the Imperial Guard. 50 regiments, including specialized drop troops, stealthers, mechanized formations, armored companies, combat engineers, and mobile artillery. Over half a million fighting men and 30,000 tanks and artillery pieces are mine to command. As they are fair. Emperor, yeah. <laughs> show mercy to the fool that stands against me, for I shall not. The Imperial Oh, uh, the people who love Katie are just like, Alicia, how could you do this? <laughs> Listen, they're like, I'm not offended for Russia. Fuck Russia. Alicia, Kadia means everything to me. How could you do this? Watching that planet fall was fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to those of you <laughs> who've been hurt. <laughs> I deeply apologize. Y'all got that. <laughs> Guard are my personal favorite faction in 40k. They're the army I collect the most, the ones I enjoy playing the most, and the one I enjoy in Katie the is sense. based on Canada? Shut the fuck up. Is it actually? I need more facial scarring. <laughs> That's what I've realized from this conversation. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Do you know what? The name is very... It makes a lot of sense, to be honest. <laughs> Similar spelling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I saw the subtitle earlier kind of looked like I said Canada, but I, I was just kind of, like, breezing past it. All right, all right. I like that we do this as, like, an open discussion with chat here. I appreciate that a lot. A lot. There's something about just a regular man with a laser rifle being told to charge the horrors of this universe uh -huh. and willingly doing so for his god emperor. It's just poetic. They actually represent the main Imperial Guard tactics pretty well. Large amounts of artillery that doesn't require a line of sight. Oh, lots of dude, tanks. those models for the tanks look so cool. Oh, yeah. I would, dude, I would love to paint one of these. This looks sick. That looks deeply Tons satisfying to paint. I got shaky ass hands, so fuck cancer. For real, for real. Uh, but, man, if I didn't have shaky ass hands, 
Oh, that'd be sick to paint one of these. I know I painted one as a kid because I used to go to a card shop back when I was a kid because they had, uh, I used to play in arcades a lot growing up. And there was one that you could play for free in this, uh, like this little hobby shop. And there was dudes who were like, maybe like 30, 35, who would like be like doing tabletop shit. I wasn't really sure what they're doing. I was really young. I was maybe like nine or 10 at the time. So I wasn't really 100% sure what they're doing. But me and my lack of social skills head ass was very entertained by cool looking units. And uh, one of them let me paint a part of it, which was really cool. And they showed me the final result later on. Um, I don't know. I wish I could like look up people who I've interacted with in my youth, but I have no. I don't even remember his name anymore. Uh, yeah, it was my first time being introduced to Warhammer, which is way back then for the tabletop, and just probably one of the most welcoming, nice people who just saw a kid who was just like <laughs> on the side. Because <laughs> what happens is you had to take turns with the with the arcade machine. Because I was really into fighting games, so. When in between time, you would kill time and just look at other stuff. I'm 10 years old. I'm not going to buy anything. So I'm just like there watching other people and being a fucking weirdo. <laughs> but it was dope. It was dope. They were really sweet. And they gave me like, that's why when people brought up like, hey, you should check out Warhammer stuff. Um, I already had a very warm heart towards trying it out rather than being intimidated by it, by being like, oh, I'm, that's kind of cringe. I don't want to. It was because since those people were so nice to me in my childhood, I was like, shit, I'm so down. <laughs> like, And I don't know, it's just cool to like, oh God, I'm getting emotional. I get hormonal super easily. I'm sorry. It's just cool to have like, such a welcoming community towards it, even at a young age when I'm not a content creator or anything. To see that and then see it again now that I'm a content creator, it's just really, it's just really cool, man. Like, I don't know. It just reminds me of like, you know, dudes in their 30s being like, I fuck with this. This, is, this means a lot to me. And it just kind of brings back that same energy drop troops and gunships. <laughs> Overall, they're pretty similar to how they sound, uh, though a little bit expensive to collect, unfortunately. And they don't hit a lot. They have a bit of a bad aim, but you don't really care because you're just drowning them in shots. However, if you want more accurate fire mm. and specialization, we can move on to talk about space marines. <laughs> the angels of death. All right, so space marines is something I don't like know know about but i know of a lot like space marines would be the thing when i think of warhammer i think of space marines that's the realistic part for me i um especially with friends of mine who are super into warhammer like that's like the one thing i held true to to understanding <laughs> Death are up next. Space Marines are genetically engineered super soldiers and superhumans. They're yep. given extra organs. Their skin tissue is toughened. Their bones are stronger. They're taller than the average person. They're pretty massive people. And these are the specialized super soldiers that carry out a lot of the more specific tasks for Would the Would you Imperium. bottom a Space Marine? Be honest. And there's tons of legions or do you, of them. Or do you In only fact, top there's it? one <laughs> per Primarch. Each Primarch, the Emperor's son, as I mentioned before, yeah, like the ATU oversees their legion of Space Marines. The yeah. genetic upgrade they get is based on the genes of said Primarch. Oh, like that's cool as fuck. Oh, that's actually sick. So it's subcategorized amongst the, the pri okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's cool. That kind of like fed into each other. Wow, he is good at explaining. <laughs> that feels like it's like clicks with the information he said previously without feeling overwhelming. That's cool. He's good. <laughs> He's damn good at what he does. Man, you you guys better hit subscribe on his channel and hit the like button for this video. I will. It's in the description. Okay, go support that original video. But also stay here for this one. <laughs> Insane. God See, damn. That's what brings He's them up to this like, superhuman level. As stated, each Primarch has their own legion. Uh, Robot Girly Man has the Ultramarines. Jagatai Khan has the White Scars. Uh, Rogal mm -hmm. Dorn has the Imperial Fists. Corvus Korax has the Raven Guard. And there's a whole bunch of other side sections that are also extremely interesting and have a little bit more of a twist on the average Space Marines, which we will discuss. Okay, the White Scars one looks really cool to me us in a bit. Humorously enough, I don't have a whole lot to say about okay. Space Marines. They're superhumanly fast. In, in fact, it's been said that nothing that I like them big. I like them chunky. Chunky. <laughs> should move that quick. These men in power armor are moving at blazing fast speeds. Their reflexes are faster. Their skin is tougher. They are overall just extremely powerful soldiers. In fact, where they differ Whoa. comes down to Who which Space Marine the sword, the little skinny about. one. For instance, Who the that? Ultramarines Ooh. done by Ooh. No, 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 no. What was that? That 
one? Who is this one? Oh. What animation is that? <laughs> that's, a, that's an elf? That's my motherfuckers. Let's go. Let's go. Space elf. Dope. That's my motherfuckers for real. Oh, that's so sick. Powerful soldiers. In fact, where they differ comes Howling down to Gage. which space marine oh. legion we're talking about. For instance, the ultramarines done by Robot Girlman, Gilliman, 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 Gilliman are the main blue boys. Strong in almost every mm -hmm. way. The jack of all oh, trades kind dude, of group I that love are a little the bit too strong on their in chest. That's so a good. War problem, but mm, uh, the white scars by Jagatai Khan are all about speed freaks. Go fast. We're talking attack bikes. We're talking mm -hmm. land speeders. You want to go in quick. You want to hit them hard. You want them to be swarming around like buzz flies. Buzz, buzz, saw, buzz saws. Buzz saws? With the speed of buzz saws. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Fuck you, Pale King. Salamanders oh. love fire. Fire in the forest. Oh my god, if he didn't show Hollow Knight in the background, I would have thought that was super racist. <laughs> I was... I got to... <laughs> Thank god! Thank god he's white and he showed Hollow, Light, Hollow Knight in the background. That was horrifying. This motherfucker... <laughs> That's how you get cancelled. Relax. <laughs> Forge, fire in battle. Flamers, melta guns, multi meltas. Just so long. Did I, as did I say hollow live? That's no big. shot. So actually, some of the nicest of the space marines. A lot of space marines have this kind of like holier than thou thing because of their genetic strength. However, the salamanders tend to put human lives above the lives of themselves, which is oh. actually kind of rare. They're wow. also all black, but not like just regular black. Like like two a.m. line at a white castle. Black, like they have a charcoal dark. <laughs> he getting a little topical, eh? <laughs> just, just a little bit of a. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? I thought of a white cast. What do you mean by that? Hmm? <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking with y'all. I don't care. <laughs> oh, all right. Dark, ashy <laughs> exterior and blazing red eyes. Apparently something about living on their Blaze home it. planet of Nocturne, which I don't know if that makes much sense, but who cares? This is like fantasy land anyway. Overall, Salamanders are actually one of my personal favorite legions because they're mm -hmm. just really cool. They're fun to play as because of all their flamer weapons, and they have a nice, like, more heartwarming lore as opposed to being super evil like everyone else is. Oh my god, we're not even a quarter of the way through the Space Marine Legions. Uh, Imperial Fists believe in the power of the siege and defensive positions. Uh, oh, cool. Raven Guards, master of stealth and sabotage while having burn helmets. Iron cool Hands, as masters as of machines and vehicles while being really goddamn good at being sold on eBay after one nerf. Space Wolves, uh, <laughs> Vikings and wolves and tons of wolves and, and axes, battle axes, fur everywhere. Space Wolves, so angry, big teeth. Ah. Blood Angels, ah. the <laughs> genetic defect to make them want to drink blood and go crazy, called the Red Thirst. They have Cupid oh, wings cool. and stuff, which is a little bit strange, and they are all super gay for Sanguinius. Dark Angels are- uh, I mean, rightfully so. Have you seen how fabulous that motherfucker looks? Like, be real with yourself. <laughs> be real. <laughs> that, it looks like an iconic twink. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Dark angels are old school knights and inner circle theme and... Are you a heretic? Me? No. Never. Once you little my dog. Death Watch, a fancy pantsy <laughs> anti Xenos group that nobody plays because Death Watch and they look cool though, but no one, no one plays them. I don't know about Death Watch. They're, they're, they're there though. Black Templars, for the people who, if you haven't prayed at least three times a day, you're going to start praying out that airlock. And I'm sure there's some other chapters I may have missed as well, like Crimson Fist and stuff. But <laughs> someone those goes, are the main I'm sorry, someone goes, it's Azu in my chat. For those of you guys who are on, U on YouTube and you don't know, Azu's my editor. Uh, he edits for both my channels. <laughs> and uh, it's not even wrong like I, I, you know what um 
I. <laughs> it's so fucked. Everyone's going true. Yeah, it it really does. Yeah, I. <laughs> All right. The real question is, does the dude pull out his nipples like Azu does? Because my editor pulls out his nipples a lot. I and his boobs jiggle. It's very important to know about our <laughs> the editor. <laughs> Don't tell him I said any of this, okay? We're going to hope when he's editing, he skips past this part and doesn't notice it, okay? Do not tag him. <laughs> Do not timestamp. I will fight you. <laughs> ones right here. Here, here. Quote from the emperor himself. They shall be my finest warriors. These men who give of themselves to me. Like clay, I shall mold them. And in the furnace of war, I shall forge them. They shall uh -huh. be of iron will and steely sinew. In great armor I shall clad them, and with the mightiest weapons shall they be armed. They will be untouched by plague or disease. No That's sickness cool. shall blight them. They shall have such tactics, strategies, and machines that no foe will best them in battle. They are my bulwark against the terror. They are my defenders of humanity. They are my yeah. space marines, and they shall know no fear. That's and on right. on the tabletop, they fuck. Oh, they fuck hard. <laughs> As of making this video, Space Marines are locked. I love him. I love this guy so much. He goes, yeah, they fuck. They fuck hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. My mod goes, I should mention. Yeah, Azu's a VTuber. That's my bad. I should definitely have mentioned that. He does not just take off his shirt and show off his IRL titties. No, he's a, he's a VTuber. <laughs> my bad. My bad. But also, even if he did take off his shirt and show off his IRL titties, I would support him. Do you know why? Body positivity. You know what? Free the nips for men and women. I show off your boobs. <laughs> and don't at me, though, because I don't want to see them. <laughs> but you know what? For your own self esteem, go ahead. <laughs> Laughably strong. That might change at some point. But overall, Space Marines just have the. It's like a Swiss Army knife, a oh. tool for anything you need, except it's like a gold plated Swiss Army knife. It is extremely strong. If you oh. are actually getting into the tabletop of Warhammer, Space Marines are a great start. Also, cool. whatever gameplay style you have, whether you want to be sit back, I think that's why I know, like, know about space room marines over everything else. Or even that's just how iconic melee, they are. All of these options are totally there for you. Space marines so I didn't know about, like, the are different super types badass. In subclasses. But unfortunately, it's time we start praying to our new god, the 2011 Honda Civic. All right, I'm going to end this video here. And uh, if you want to see my next part, uh for the factions explained subscribe stick around the channel well and uh we'll dive into more also check out the warhammer playlist here on the here on the channel and as we continue our deep dive into the factions all right i appreciate you guys love you guys don't forget to check the original channel in the video and support them but also support the channel here for more and uh love you guys youtube thank you so much for being absolutely incredible and uh yeah don't forget to share the channel too you know what i'm saying you know, we like we like the views the views make my brain happy the more numbers go up, the more serotonin I get. That's just the reality. <laughs> Am I too honest sometimes? I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Number goes up, hey, brain, happy brain chemical. Okay? Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Bye!